What up YouTube, this your boy down low back for another reply. This one is to Rick Ross featuring Usher, Touching You. And come on man, we all knew about this song a long time ago. And we all know the real version of it is called Fucking You, not Touching You. But when I first heard this song, I was wondering, what the fuck is they doing? Rappers only get Usher for radio friendly songs. But over the time that it's been out and that they've been developing this video and the edited version of it, I started to understand a little bit more. See, I personally believe the hoes are going to like the unedited version of just fucking you, while the women are going to like the version saying touching you. A lot of you dudes out there need to understand the difference between hoes and women. It's a huge difference. But overall, man, the track... It ain't nothing special, man. I mean, it's your typical commercial jam. So expect to get that shit played on the radio all summer, and I'm pretty sure they already probably playing it in the club. One thing that I did like about the song is the way Rick Ross is rapping is not classified as tricking. The direction of this track is more of I'm spending time going out, having fun, doing whatever I want to with the woman that I like. And that's cool. But Rick Ross always takes these songs too far and starts saying how he's paying for the sex. And that's fucking tricky. So it's a step in the right direction that he's not going that damn far with it. But I do have questions like, what the fuck is this video trying to say here? Rick Ross is really just spending all this time having fun with this one chick. Okay, that's part of the song. I'm cool with that. But at the end, he's trying to have a gangster type meeting, which I laughed about because DJ Khaled is in it. But so he's trying to have this meeting and the chick just barges in and then she got that angry ass look on her face like, nigga, I know you is not having a meeting. And the way I look at that is, are you that damn whipped that you can't have a fucking meeting with your people? So he went from tricking to being whipped. Ain't that a bitch. Overall, don't really like the song. Don't really like the video neither, but I can understand if it sees success because it got the foundation to it to be a commercial successful track. But anyway, on to today's article. And today's article is about complaints. And motherfuckers love to complain. See, people love to complain more about the things that's going wrong in their lives than actually fixing that thing that's wrong in their life. And honestly, I don't understand it. Because that energy, that work that you put towards trying to make everyone else miserable to feel your pain on why you can't do whatever you want to do, can be used to fixing that shit. But when you start to try to help these people so they won't complain all the time to you, out comes the excuses. But the bottom line is, you're not serious enough to actually want to make a change. 